What's going on everybody, Sharpie360 here, and today I have a building video for you, inspired by the likes of Night Before Dawn, Bastio, and Rip Diesel. Some pretty prolific Sons of the Forest builders on YouTube, so go check those guys' channels out for a lot more stuff. But basically taking that grid offset concept that they've discovered and honed, and adding a whole nother level to it to create this full half grid. So your typical grid that we're all used to when the foundations is going to be the 5x5 five five square that you can't really do much with. And that's, you're pretty limited to that. So what they have been able to do is extend it out to make it half offsets. You can do a bunch of different offsets, but for this time we're trying to focus on like half offsets. So taking that concept, we were able to expand it out to get a result like this after some mild building and stuff we'll go into in a second we can get this and then if you look after everything is said and done every point is a snap point so very very useful for that and i have done a little bit of building past this point so far just on my other site and it works from what i've tried so far everything has worked but it still have a lot more experimenting to do when it comes to past the floor and the foundation. But so, yeah, every snap point has a point here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Cool. So let's get started. How do we get go about getting this guy built from the get-go? So we're going to come over here where there's some fresh ground to mess with. And set this down. So we're going to start out like you typically would with one of those offset grid setups. Nothing crazy, so I'm gonna start with a quarter length log and just make a grid foundation as such. Drop that down. And the reason why I'm doing the quarter length instead of doing it directly on the ground is because this way I can actually make sure that the levels all stay at this quarter length height and it's not weird offset just slightly because of the the elevation of the ground itself okay so when we have this we're gonna just set up these two quarter logs on each side like that opposing sides and set this on top of that beam on top of there so it gives it that apex frame type deal place that guy on top of there so we have that is the length of a full log now that we can work with approximately and then that gives us the ability to drop that down so nothing crazy so far this is basically your, your standard grid offset setup and nothing nothing too insane uh, like that so again this is all discovered by the builders i mentioned before so definitely go check those out for more in-depth explanations on what i'm actually doing here if this is not making any sense okay cool so we have that next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this so we have this one we're going to build off to this side with it create a frame same deal on this side we're going to make it go in the perpendicular direction as this this down slanting beam Oop, not like that I want to go like that okay perfect and we'll raise this one up just like that perfect cool so now we have two of them and I'm going to repeat this step a third time and in the same styling. So off to the right here. If you're looking at it straight on, we're going to go off to the right for another foundation. Just like, oop, not like that. Just like that. Okay. And with that, we can build the next grid offset down slope Kelvin you're right in the way bud you have a, a tendency to do that he has a tendency to get in the way folks he's not the brightest child okay almost done here okay so pull that up now we have three of them. 
All right, cool. So we need to repeat this step a fourth time. And I'm not sure if we actually, this is the way that I found that it works for sure. Right now, this will probably be able to be cleaned up and more, uh, be become, or probably be able to be a little bit more fine tuned and be more efficient in how to do this. But this is what I've figured out that works so far. So we have the, the four foundations offset from each other now and we can actually get rid of all of the setup stuff because we don't need any of that anymore so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Cool, so we have... Kelvin, I swear if you don't get out of the way, um, go on, get. So we're going to pick one of the corners on the inside of the four foundations. It doesn't matter which one. And we're just going to place a log off of it to the left. And we're going to place the perpendicular log to that. And we're going to rinse and repeat for that on all four corners. There we go. So now with this new snap point, so you can place one here, and then this one will shoot outwards, and then we can place the next one in as so, and send that one out as well. Should get a snap point in as well. Keep doing that for each side. There we go, that one worked decent. Sometimes it's kind of tricky, so you have to play around with it. And then there we go. So we have the four center points now snapped in right here. And we can take this opposite log with the arrow coming in. And we can just fill in the full square. Perfect. Cool. And so now you can see we have a snap point at each half grid marker. Which is super cool. So now you can start working your way out in whatever direction you like. And it's pretty much going to be user case it's going to really kind of depend on where, what kind of shape or foundation you're really going for, depending on how you want to lay it out. But with that initial grid started, it's a lot easier to kind of, kind of get all the stuff snapped in to place where you need it. You can go off of there. Drop this in. Oh. Let's see. Can I drop it in? Yep. Uh, there we go. Boom. And come to this one. Oh, I'm stuck. And I drop this one in. Or is it going to be tricky? Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Cool. So I got that one. And then I can set that up, raise that. Send that one over here, connect those, and then we should have a snap point at all of these spots. Cool. So yeah, it's really, that's kind of getting the basics down on how you can get everything doubled up initially, and then really can go from there however you want to play around with it as well. And then, for instance, we can place logs here. That's the whole point of the whole dealy bob. Oop. Oh, slanted floor because it is a half uh, half grid offset across everything, so you will get the diagonal prompts. But you should have just as many prompts for the straights, straight boards, and then uh, the different snap points as well. You can place that. Let's see. Can we snap these two together? It's going to be kind of finicky to get these all worked out, but... It shouldn't be too tricky, so. Let's see, if I want to go here, here, we can actually take this one down. I'll put this one here. Okay, so. Let's see, is it going to let me snap? I'll we'll probably have to play around with it. Like that. 
Man, raise. So all of this is uncharted territory for me still because I have yet to build like roofs and stuff. Like I said, it's just kind of getting the foundation set up. Um, so as far as this stuff, let's see, can I snap it like that and then maybe place one here and set that there. Yeah, I don't know. So it's, I'll have to play around with this a little bit more and and see how we can kind of get all of this lined up in particular. That'd be cool. That's probably not the best trial thing to do is an inside corner like that, but right now. But anyways, that's basically the full half grid foundation in Sons of the Forest, how I got it at least. Um, again, Big influences, thanks to Night Before Dawn, Bastio, Rip Diesel, and any of the other Titans that are building right now. You guys are all legends, putting way more to hours in than I could possibly even fathom at the moment. So props to them for doing all the heavy lifting, but this is just building off of what they have already established. And you can come over here and take a look at this one really quick. Again, this is what I was showing off when we started. So you can get it out pretty big, and then kind of just i don't know more so the sake of being able to just do it i guess um like i said i'm gonna follow up and do some more experimenting with building and whatnot and then we can probably have an update video and see what i find out that's dope i love it okay cool so if you like the half grid foundation with the full snap points all over the place definitely make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel because i'm going to keep doing sons of the forest content it's not always going to be build videos we got update videos got let's play videos got anything that might be interesting or fun as well i suppose but yeah sons of the forest for sure is really cool and the building is dope they just added the stone so yeah let me know what you think of the full-on half grid in sons of the forest and i look forward to hearing from you in the comments section Cool, so if you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a like and subscribe. I'm going to be following up with some more ha full half-grid experimenting and build videos and stuff like that to see, kind of expand on what all we can do with all this stuff. So definitely want to make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell to get the notification so you can see the next video that I post on this. It'll be super cool, and I'm glad that you stuck around this far. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, sharp out.